six years ago I have designed and make this uh, electronic ignition it was made made with uh, scooter parts and also with some parts designed by me and executed by a turner like this rotor and this plate and uh, I have made a video six years ago with this ignition running it was running just fine easy starting it was raving good and uh, I have used for some time uh, this electronic ignition and uh, a couple months ago uh, one of my subscribers have seen uh, this video and uh, asked me to, to give the full details for uh, this electronic ignition so I will uh, show and explain how I have made uh, this electronic ignition first the ignition plate it has a role to be a mount for the ignition uh, sensor. Uh, I have taken all the dimensions from the original point scan. And we can see if we put one on top of the another that we have the same dimensions. So now let's see the dimensions. We have for the exterior almost 94 millimeters. The centering bush we can see here almost 29 millimeter, but here it was a little mistake to be better to make the 30 millimeter. We can see almost 30 millimeter for a better centering here in the center. Uh, here I have almost five millimeters. All the thickness with the centering bush is somewhere to nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, the rotor. Okay, the rotor it is passing in the front of the ignition sensor and is triggering so this was round and it was milled on the sides so I have choose this dimension which is 30 millimeters here we have 29 but, but it, let's say it is 30 millimeters in the sides we have 21.82 you can make it 22 there is no problem you can make it 21 or 22 it will it will work the height it is almost 31 millimeters and it was designed like this you put the rotor on the camshaft and the camshaft camshaft must be below the rotor one millimeter it is enough also, the inside hole here, I have eleven millimeter and a tenth, but uh, it is important not to have play not to have uh, one moment not sorry for this but my camera mount it, it is making some problems okay. so you have you have to have here a minimum play because if the play is too much uh, you will have problem with the distance between the rotor and the ignition sensor so the play between the rotor and the camshaft must be as little as possible so for example on this camshaft I have 
10 millimeter 0.94 And here I have 11.16. So, so that means uh, two tenths of a millimeter as a play. The problem is some camshafts have a dimensions here, other camshafts have another dimension. It is close, but it is not exactly the same for all the camshafts. But uh, if you have a an available camshaft or you, you have to take an exact measure of the camshaft on your engine you'll uh, you'll succeed to make it the, the correct dimension as a rule i think no more than a tenth of a millimeter it is okay now this is the plate for the electronic ignition made by russians or ukrainian i don't know for sure i think ukrainians it is called sovek if you want you can use this plate i did not use it because uh, i wanted uh, to make uh, all kinds of tests and i i have made if you can if you can see that i have that i have multiple holes i have made also another test with, with another type of uh, electronic ignition and I have made my own plate but somehow you can use this this is fitting exactly on the Dnieper and the Ural engines you have to to put here a piece of uh, another plate in order, in order to adapt the ignition sensor but this only if you if you have from a broken uh, ignition uh, electronic ignition so uh, all, also I, I did not put as an info this hole 16 and a half this hole must be big enough to let the camshaft to pass without touching the plate and now the scooter parts this is a Kimco CDI it is a DC CDI from Kimco Agility 4 stroke and this is the ignition sensor the CDI is original I would not advise to buy original, not because they are not good, they are very good, very reliable, but they are expensive. So you will buy the Chinese uh, copy of this CDI. They are very good and also very cheap, I think somewhere maximum 20 euros. This would be somewhere, uh, I don't know, 70, maybe 100 euros. And uh, the Chinese copies are also reliable. So it will be a waste of money to to search a waste of money and time to search for an original uh, Kimco CDI if you want to you can buy original but uh, like I said the Chinese copy it is very good and very cheap so you can find this uh, Chinese copy everywhere what is it is important it is to be a DC CDI because DC works only on 12 volts plus and minus, not like the AC CDI, which it it, it work it works with the alternative current. So when you buy, you just have to be careful to buy this DC CDI, which are usually on the four-stroke engine 50 cc on uh, Chinese scooters. I will uh, give you the, the details later. Here we have the schematics. this CDI have six connectors this is empty it has a connector inside here on the right corner it is uh, it has a connector but it is not used on this uh, DC CDI 
and uh, we can see we have in the right corner we have the ignition power plus so this on this connector you need a, a wire which it goes to ignition switch when you press the ignition switch on the bike you need to have power plus current here we have here another two connectors you can see here and these are grounds there are two wires and must be connected to ground to the mines this is permanent ground in the middle here we have the wire to the ignition coil this should be on the ignition coil should be the minus and also here the ignition the ignition trigger pulse connector on the left corner upper left corner we have the ignition trigger pulse wire so we have we need the wire from here for this for this wire which it goes to ignition trigger pulse so this is the schematics it's pretty simple i'll put the 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 image on the video explained better also with the connections for the electric wiring on the bike and also for the ignition coil for the connections uh, i did not uh, found to to buy the plugs which goes here so i have made my own uh, wiring harness first you make the wires you put these small connectors in order to fit with the connectors inside and uh, you put the wires inside and after that you can inject some melted plastic with a glue gun so it will not go out this way and uh, before you do that you have to spray some grease inside in order not to to stick on the plastic because this way you can put out the the harness as you can see you can also use another time and believe me it is working just fine they are not going out from the vibrations you can see you need some force to take it out so you make your you make your own uh, wiring harness for the ignition and keep this in mind to make the connectors you have to insulate the connectors as you can see all the connectors are insulated you put the wires inside you inject the plastic with a glue gun and you'll have the connectors like this so after you have the plate you assemble on the engine it goes like this the bush here action like a center on this part here and keep the plate in a good position
this plate is not perfect but it's good enough so you put the rotor on the camshaft and in order to assemble the trigger, the emission sensor, you just put on the rotor, on the center of the rotor and uh, with something you make the marks for the holes, for the both holes and uh, you give the hole and make the thread. I have used uh, for the ignition sensor, I have used 5 millimeter uh, bolts. After you make the holes and the threads, you have to assemble the sensor, the ignition sensor. Uh, but you need some spacers in order to, to keep a distance from the bottom of the ignition sensor and the plate. Because uh, as you can see we have a wire, we have some plastic here. And uh, for me it, wa it was just easier to use as a spacer uh, this nut and uh, two washers if you want you can make a real spacer no problem So before tightening the, the sensor, the ignition sensor, you need to, to make the correct gap bef uh, between the sensor and the rotor. So you take a piece of paper, not too thick, it, it should have maximum 0.1 millimeter, that means a tenth of a millimeter. You put you put the piece of paper, you press a little and you start tightening the sensor. And after that you can measure with the filler gauge if we have a gap so I have 0 0.05 which is perfect you can make it uh, a tenth of a millimeter that means 0 0.1 millimeter which is perfect also but this time I have 0 0.05 and it is just fine so I have shown how to assemble the sensor and how to make the gap later I will show how to put uh, the timing in the correct position because this this is just an assembly it is not the correct timing now okay in order to to make the ignition setup i have first to put the engine in the firing position that means i have to turn the engine and to find the firing position on the which is marked on the flywheel
see the mark for the firing position so now you can see that is not the correct position and I will explain why in order for the ignition sensor to send a signal for the CDI and CDI will give the command for the spark to the, to the ignition coil first this rotor needs to pass in the front of the ignition sensor that means this in this position it is starting to trigger the sensor and it is finishing after it's passing so in this position we have the command for the spark only after the round part of the rotor have passed the core of the ignition of the ignition sensor you can see that white metal it is a magnet and that is the core of the ignition sensor so only after the rotor it is passing the ignition sensor we have the command for the spark so this is the correct position from here we can move the ignition plate in order to retard to retard is like this or to give or to give uh, or to advance the the timing ignition but as a general rule if you are in this position with the rotor just passing the ignition sensor you have a, a good a good timing for the ignition so you put in this position and uh, you start the engine you see if it's running okay and uh, from uh, this point you can uh, retard or advance the timing the ignition timing so this is the correct position